Hey, welcome back to another Axe Cards video. We also have opening today the brand new Battle Academy box. It's kind of like a board game and really it's probably the best value you're going to find for anyone looking to learn the game. There's three full decks inside here. It's not that um, expensive and you know there's lots of um, guides and rule books and how to play and stuff like that. It really is great value for your money. Uh, so let's hop right in and see kind of what it comes with. Put my camera down so we actually can see. Um, and yeah, let's tear the plastic off and get right into it. So there have been other Battle Academy products. Um, I think it's been a pretty good, decent seller um, in the past and for good reason, like I say. Um, so it kind of has on the back here. So you get three complete decks. Uh, each deck does have a V card in it, so an ultra rare card in it. Uh, you get a brand new promo card in the EV deck, instruction sheet, tutorial guides, um, an actual hard game board, kind of like a game board like you get for a board game. Um, you got three deck boxes, a rule book, like basically everything you'll need. It also includes a code card. For Pokemon TCG Live, I actually don't know what that includes. I'm thinking it's probably the three ultra rare cards, maybe the coin, maybe deck boxes. I'm not 100%. You guys will have to tell me. Uh, so let's hop inside. It's kind of hard to fit it on camera because it's so large. <laughs> How am I going to do this? Okay, you know what? Let's just put it to one side. So right in red and read this first so basically this box contains everything you need to learn how to play the pokemon trading card game just follow these steps uh so take out the game board all the guides that you can read and it's kind of cool uh, and that's it so it's kind of a intro if you're interested uh, this is the game board, which I'm never going to get all on camera. Um, but it pretty much is just, uh, they have actual tutorial stuff on here. So it's like um, what you can do during your turn, uh, kind of where everything goes as usual, just like a regular um, what you would get. But it's a little bit more detailed for if you're... Um, you know, new to the game, it's kind of user friendly. Uh, so we do get, let's see, there are like Pikachu deck tutorials, which you'll go through for the Pikachu deck. I won't spend a lot of time on it, but it does go into detail like what to do and not to do, links to video tutorials online um and uh, yeah like how to set up and how to actually to play how the game board works like the flow what the different areas and the cards mean and i think it actually even goes into strategy um of the actual cards you find within which is kind of neat especially if you're brand new to the to the game uh, and then in addition to that you also get one for cinderace so I think it's kind of funny you get Pikachu versus Cinderace, who's a stage two Pokemon, but that's another story, uh, which will go into similar things, how to play and everything. Uh, we do get some damage counters, uh, which you're gonna need to play as well. And what else? It's not an Eevee how to play guide, but there is a rules reference book that has Eevee on the front. So you get all three of the ultra rares there. Um, so, oh no, it does go into playing with the third deck. Advanced play setup and yeah, all sorts of stuff. Oh, there's an index and a glossary of different terms. Uh, so that's kind of cool. So again, just more stuff you'd need to be a Pokemon expert. Uh, the Jumbo Coin is really cool. So it features Pikachu and Eevee and Cinderace. So that's really nice for you coin collectors out there. Uh, what else? Um, let's jump into the decks. Now there's also going to be the code card. 
I'm just gonna go through each of the decks and we'll see kind of what is in there. So like um, in the past, the cards are reprints from recent sets. However, they do have a little logo on them to indicate what deck they've come from. So for instance, the Pikachu deck, you'll see here there's a little Pikachu symbol and a number 60 next to it, because this is the 60th card in the 60 card deck. So this is Pikachu from Vivid Voltage. It's just been reprinted, but it'll be obviously uh, um, for you collectors out there, something else to grab since there's difference because of the Pikachu symbol. And then we're just going to count back from there. So we got Shauna from Fusion Strike, Yamper, uh, Great Balls, Zeb Striker from Vivid Voltage as well, Blitzel, Hop, Luxio, Switch, Sonya, Shauna again, Great Ball. We're gonna have a whack of lightning energy eventually. Luxray, Bug Catcher, Shinx, Boss's Orders. So that's a non hollow version of the Boss's Orders from Rebel Clash. And just yet another variant of it. Uh, more lightning, Hop, Shinx. Potion, uh, Great Ball, Luxio, oh, missed the one, another Lightning Energy, it's probably going to be about 20 energy I'm guessing in each deck, usually that's what they have, Switch, Zeb Strike, uh, another Hop, Energy Recycler, Blitzel, we're halfway through, we got a Great Ball, Luxray, Lightning Energy, Bug Catcher, Zeb Strike, Shauna, Ooh, more Peko, one, two Lightning, Shinx, more Lightning, <laughs> Potion, um, Bolton, I think that was a Rare Hollow in Sword and Shield base set, so that's a, another variant of it as well, well they're all variants of it because of the Pikachu stamp uh, of every card, but um, it's kind of cool. Um, loads of lightning energy. So are we going to be lightning energy for the rest of the time? Nope. We got Shinx as number six in the deck. Zara Aura uh, from Fusion Strike. Um, and uh, oh, we got Blitzel as the number two card. And the number one card is Yamper for some cuteness. So that is the Pikachu deck in its entireness. So that's the player two deck officially um, is Pikachu. Uh, we'll put him back there. So let's go through the player one deck, which is going to be Cinderace. Uh, let's see what we get inside here. So we're starting with our Cinderace V. So this is a reprint of the Cinderace from Fusion Strike. So that is the 60th card and we have the Cinderace symbol there. Um, like past decks, I'm imagining the different decks are going to have um, uh, similar cards. So we got Switch, Hop, Sizzlipede, Great Ball, Pokemon Catcher. Pop, uh, Victini, Santa Scorch, another Shauna, Pokemon Catcher, Great Ball, Bug Catcher, Larvesta, Sonia, another Volcarona it's from Chilling Rain, uh, Great Ball, Potion, Pop, Switch, Turtonator, <laughs> uh, Energy Retrieval, Larvesta, more energy and a bug catcher and great ball energy we got a vulpix and scent scorch so that's half the deck gone it's the first the last 30. um another hop ball corona fire energy energy retrieval fire energy nine tails from fusion strike shauna yeah, there's gonna be a lot of energy in the end here vulpix Sizzlipede, more fire, another set of Scorch, Vulpix, Sizzlipede, 
and a whack more of fires. We got nine tails. And what are we gonna end with? We got Victini here, which is Victini from Shining Fates, looks like. Um, fire, fire, and Sizzlipede. So I guess that's cute too. We start with cuteness here as well. It's this, uh, I don't know, it's debatable. So we got one more deck to open, uh, which is included, which is pretty good value for money, you gotta admit for all this stuff you see here. Uh, our last deck is going to be the... All right, let's wrap up with the EV deck now, uh, which is the advanced deck, <laughs> which is kind of cute. Um, so we do get... The thing slightly different with this is that there are no card numbers on it. There's just gonna be the EV logo, similar to the Mewtwo um, Bahab Academy deck we had uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, this EV is a promo card, SWSH065, so that's kind of a neat variant for you collectors out there. Oh, we got a couple upside down energies. Is the entire deck going to be upside down? No. Uh, so, <laughs> I guess it's all darkness energy for EV, and it seems like it's an entire deck of darkness energy. I guess they just stuck all the energy together because they're not worried about numbering. That's kind of weird. Never seen a theme deck with all of them like that clumped. Anyway, Cook, which is from Fusion Strike, Galarian Obsagoon. So, this is the promo card that they reference. So, this is only found in this deck from what I gather. So, Galarian Obsagoon, which is a stage two, and we have Rampaging Kick. She has 180 damage for two darkness and one colorless, but you have to discard two darkness energy from this Pokemon. So that's kind of neat. Um, I'm sure, uh, and we get two of them, so I'm sure that'll be a must have for you uh, promo collectors out there. So we got pairs from Darkness Ablaze, Sonya. Of course, we're gonna have the whole line for the Galarian Obstagoon. So you got Linone. One, two, three of those guys, and then Zigzagoon. I'm guessing we're probably gonna have three or four. Two, three, and four. So we got a full play set. Bug Catcher. A uh, full play set of those. Shauna. It's kind of weird. None of these things are at least spread out to give you, keep you guessing what's inside them. They just have all the cards clumped uh, together <laughs> in it. Need a really good shuffle, I guess. Uh, great ball. Uh, we got a full play set of those as well. Switch. One, two, just two of those. We got Zoroark from Fusion Strike. Um, and Zoro, of course, also from Fusion Strike. Uh, we got three of those guys. Sharpedo. Well, we got lots of Fusion Strike cards in here. Um, Carvana as well. And we have Dark Rife from, you guessed it, Fusion Strike also. And that's it. So that is the entire EV deck. So you've seen everything that's inside of the 2022 Battle Academy. So if you're actually looking to buy this product to learn the game, big thumbs up for, uh, for that because you're not going to find better value for your money. Or if you're just a collector looking to pad your collection for variants, there's a lot here for some of the nicest Pokemon. Uh, the cutest, at least. So the Pikachu, the Eevee, the Cinderace variants, and also basically every trainer and card within. Uh, I know some people even collect the energies with the different symbol on it just to have all of them. To each their own for what you collect. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, please consider liking and subscribing for loads more content. And hopefully we'll see you with our next video.